Hello and welcome, Paul Lee here, and I am back on Star Wars Galaxies, and this is my Empire in Flames series. Now, here's Cult Tyron just relaxing in Moss Eisley Cantina. It's uh, pretty nice in here, but the reason we are inside is because there is a bad sandstorm outside. If I go out... I did just get the message on the screen that the weather around you has become damaging. Seek shelter immediately. Whether or not that happens right away, I don't know. But this is what I was talking about in one of my first videos. When on Tatooine, if the weather gets bad, you do need shelter. You either need to get indoors or you need to get a camp down. Right now, it doesn't seem too bad, but it may have just been a little bit of a warning before it really kicks up. So for now, I just want to head inside so it's not as loud and I want to show you what I've been doing now <laughs> I have been leveling a little bit and I was gonna slowly grind out you know my character build and show you guys a few bits and pieces but XP gains are actually a lot faster on this particular server and I kind of mastered what I was after so yeah Terras Cassie Artist, one of my all-time favorite skills regardless of MMO. So, as you can see here, I have it completely maxed out. I'm a Terras Cassie Master. Now, Terras Cassie is a unarmed martial arts in the Star Wars universe, and it's a skill that I've always taken whenever I've played Star Wars Galaxies. There are a few of the melee skills, but this one is most certainly my favorite. And yeah, basically I was just doing a few missions with my friends and when you're in a group you do get extra XP. And it leveled up pretty quick and I basically just finished it last night. So yeah, I'm, I'm a master. I do apologize, I couldn't show you as I was going along, but it's done now. I, I'm still not finished though, I've got a lot of points to spend. But uh, let me just quickly check here. Curious if this storm's actually going to start damaging me or not. I know it does. I've been caught out in the storm before, but I don't think it's too bad. So okay. Before I go any further, I'll quickly show you. If I go to a, a blank one like swordsman, XP rates have been changed. So or XP requirements have been changed. If you're in a group with someone, you'll get double the XP. So it's worth grouping up with others. Now, if you look on here, the amount of XP required per box has been reduced. For instance, intermediate is 50, advanced is 100, expert is 150, and master is 250. I don't exactly remember what the boxes were in the past, but I do know that no, the Novus box used to be about 125k that you'd have to grind out. Because before this you used to require Brawler, but Brawler was removed from, from the skill list. And I know that the master boxes used to be 450,000 each, and now they're only 250. So, grinding out a template is a lot faster, at least on this Empire in Flames server. It feels just about right, in my opinion. It's quite nice, it well, didn't feel like a grind. And, uh, yeah, it progressed quite nicely. Here we go, I think the storm's breaking, or at least easing up. Yeah, it will get there. Anyway. I'm working on my character template. Now I had an idea what I wanted to do, but I realized that that's not quite right. So, Terras Cassie Artist or Mastery now I've got is going to be my base for my template. It's going to be my damaging skill. It's going to be what I am. And I'll show you some of these skills in a moment. And I wanted to pair it up with Fencer and I was going to take some Pistolier. Now the idea behind this is that if you look at Fencer
it has a lot of dodge. Now, if you look through these different boxes, they'll have different stats, you know, defense versus knockdown and such. It does have some pretty good defenses, but the main one I was looking at was dodge. And Pistolier also uses dodge. So the idea was to stack dodge so when I'm TK, you know, I can dodge every attack. Now, here's the thing that I didn't realize. Dodge does dodge only works if you're using the appropriate weapon, so one hand a one hander or a pistol. So being TK, that wouldn't work. Now I didn't realise this. I haven't realised that for the longest time, but that is how it works, so I'm changing up what I'm doing. So the new build that I'm gonna go with is just gonna be an all round build, so I'm gonna be a Terrace Cassie artist. I'm gonna master pistolier. I'm also going to switch my profession to Smuggler. I'm going to take a tree in Medic for the quick heal here so I can keep myself up and alive when I'm out fighting in a pinch. And if I've got any points left, I'm going to go up uh, a row in Fencer just to get some defense uh, versus Blind, Dizzy maybe, or Knockdown. I haven't decided yet, but that's what I'm going to be aiming for. Now, a very good pairing would be Pistolier and, like, a, the best way for me to do this, if I really wanted to be, like, a defense stacker, would be to go Fencer, Master Fencer, Master Pistolier, maybe take a row or two in Terrace Cassie for the defenses and Meditate, because Meditate's a pretty awesome skill, but I don't really want to do that, as I said, Terrace Cassie is my skill I always use, so, yeah. Anyway, first things first, I need to train Smuggler. So I actually need to surrender some of these skills. So let me go ahead and get rid of Ranger. Ranger's nice, but when I looked at it, the Smuggler tree has some nice pistol attacks. It also has some melee attacks like low blow and such. It's got a bunch of utility such as Feign Death. It allows me to make spices when spices are re-implemented back into the game. They're not currently. Spices are drugs. They give you buffs and the like. You can also slice, and slicing allows you to hack terminals, increase payouts. You can slice weapons, increase their speed, their damage, or reduce their ham costs. You can open lock containers. So slicing basically has a whole bunch of different uses which is kind of nice and it's also got some terrain negotiation allows me to run up hills and stuff not as good as ranger but it's not bad so i figured pairing it with that would have been good the others would have been like commando if i really wanted to rock a flamethrower but or uh you know some of the other heavy weapons they have i mean it's got a little bit of defense but not much and Comm Commando is fun, but I'd only go that if I was going like a Rifleman or something along those lines. Squad Leader would have been a good choice. It would have given me a whole bunch of, you know, group buffs and stuff, which I may end up going eventually, I don't know. Bounty Hunter would have been good, but again, if I want to go Bounty Hunter, I'd probably go Carboneer. Although Bounty Hunter does have a nice tree for pistols, which would have been good. Not to mention you can get a light lightning cannon, which works off rifles which is pretty cool, not to mention you can do bounty missions then. There's Doctor, but I'm not going to take enough of Medic to make the most out of Doctor. I don't need to buff myself, you know what I mean? And then the others are things like, you know, Merchant, Entertainer, stuff I'm not going to use. So Smuggler seem like the best pairing at the moment. So I'm interested in learning a skill, Nova Smuggler. Yes, there we go. Now I have Smuggler and I probably could save some money by going and talking to people and learning this but I actually have a whole bunch of combat experience which is like an additional experience that you pick up when you're uh, fighting stuff so I can actually learn some of these boxes now so the ones that are going to make the most sense to learn would be going up dirty fighting tree I'd get some nice damaging attacks that I could use when I'm leveling my pistols I, could I can't slice terminals yet and Underworld, this would give me my terrain negotiation, which could also be good if I'm running around the world. Although I do use my vehicle for traveling, so I don't think it's going to matter much. But let's go ahead and learn Dirty Fighting. Now, if I had, if I knew a smuggler that's already got these, he could teach me these skills and it wouldn't cost me anything. But 
for the sake of showing you in this particular video, I'm just going to go ahead and learn Dirty Fighting 2, Dirty Fighting 3, Dirty Fighting 4. That just cost me a ton of money. I've still got a bit left. I've been doing my missions and so on. But as you can see, I've still got a whole bunch of experience left. In fact, I could probably max out this tree, but I think for the moment, I'm just going to get someone to teach me the rest. But at least I've got these, so I've got some extra skills to use. Last Ditch is a very nice uh, damaging attack. Low Blow is a knockdown where you basically kick someone between the legs. And there's an animation for it, which is pretty cool. So when I'm doing all my martial arts, you know, I can just quickly kick him in the nuts. Now, what I would like to do before I do anything else is show you a couple of skills from Terrace Cassie because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Now, I don't really want to kill anyone in the town because I want to keep my reputation up. I don't want mobs attacking me as I travel through in the future. And to be honest, a lot of these mobs on the outer limits of the city are going to be fairly weak. Ooh, a downed sand crawler. Is there a POI badge for this? I was talking about badges in... Uh, let's have a look. So quick right around. Nope, no badge. So, you can see here, the only badge I have won is my Terrace Cassie Mastery Badge, for mastering Terrace Cassie. So, I'm going to wear that proudly. i also got the title now, Terrace Cassie Master. And if you do look at like the top of these, each one, if you hover over it, you'll see that there in brackets. Terrace Cassie Mystic, Terrace Cassie Monk, Terrace Cassie Expert, and Terrace Cassie Warrior. Those are titles that you get to wear. You also get a novice title, depending on what skill you've picked up. So, a lot of these mobs are very weak, and I would literally kill them in one punch. Literally kill them in one punch. Van punch, okay. Let's see, I could go to fight some Tuskins. So as you can see, the world is pretty big. This is one thing I haven't shown you yet, but I did plan to do a bit of exploring in future videos, showing you some key locations and points of interest, having a look at some of the cities and exploring the other planets, because right now we've only seen Tatooine. We've only seen Tatooine, but I do have a new character I plan on making so I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a moment and I'll show you here we go these are a bit stronger okay so Terrace Cassie is a martial arts as I said now because my defense is high this creature is probably gonna miss me a lot of the time and I won't take any hits and you can see my unarmed. Now, the weapon that a Terrace Cassie uses is a Vibro Knuckle. It's basically like a, a bladed knuckle duster. But unfortunately, I don't have one yet. But as unarmed, your unarmed damage actually gets buffed. It's not often you play a MMO where you could just be pure unarmed, which is nice. Just lunge him, get him to slow down. Come back here, sunshine. So, here is the ultimate attack for Terrace Cassie. I believe it's called Spinning Roll, if I'm not mistaken. Spitting Roll, there we go. Yeah, so all the different attacks are named after creatures, which is kind of cool. But yeah, this is like the big damaging attack, and it does a ton of damage, and yeah. Being able to be like a martial artist in Star Wars is pretty kick-ass. So... And there's a whole bunch of other abilities that I haven't I haven't even set my bar up yet. But uh, I can knock it down. It's dizzy as well, so it's going to have trouble standing back up. And then when it's down as well, it takes even more damage, so I can just destroy it like that. But yeah, that's Terra's Cast in a nutshell. When you see me fighting in future videos, you're going to see a lot of this. The other cool thing about Terra's Cassie is that you get Meditate. 
And when you meditate, if you have any mind wounds, you'll heal them over time if you've got that... If you've got the tier 4 box in meditate, which is very, very sweet. Now, next I'll be training up Pistolier, because I'm going to want to level that. But that will happen slowly and over time, but once i got Master Pistolier, I'll probably go back to Fencer with whatever points i got left. I also have a few boxes in Medic I need to train. But yeah, that is my plan for this character. Now, let's go ahead and disconnect. Although, a little tip if you're playing this, when you need to log out, type slash lo log out. Your character will sit down and as long as you don't get in combat, you'll be logged out automatically in 30 seconds. And hopefully I don't get pooped on, because that is a really bad space, bad spot to sit. Uh, okay. Anyway. I'm going to make a merchant now that's going to be my crafter, because I only have three character slots, and... While I probably won't play them all at the same time, I do plan on doing a little roleplay. And I know that there may be new species added in future, and I'm kind of holding out for one, which, when it's added, it will become my... my ranged character. And probably become a bounty hunter, no doubt, or a commando. But, uh, yeah. That is on my to-do list, basically. So I'm not making my third character yet, but I can go ahead and make my merchant, because... As I said in previous videos, I have designs on making a guild and play a city. And in order to do that, we're going to need an architect. And I don't know if anyone else is doing that, but that's going to be playing with me. And if anyone here wants to join, you're all more than welcome to. Just hit me up on uh, Discord. The link is in the description of this video. And I was thinking, what do I want to do for a merchant? I mean, there's a lot of cool, unique looking races. Some of them you can't change too much, like this dude looks kind of cool, although his grin kind of creeps me out. I was thinking Chiss maybe. And as you can see a lot here, there's Gungans, but... Now I was tempted to go Hut because Hut has some very, very cool species of abilities. Getting extra vendors, extra vendor item limits, hiring more people, but to be honest, there's no point really, unless you're basically dedicating all of your alts to crafting and you're going to be this master crafter and that's all you want to do and you need all the vendor spaces, it's worth going, but Merchant is a free one anyway, so if I do need another Merchant slot, I can pick it up on one of my other characters. I was tempted to make a Keldor. Yeah, was very tempted to make a Keldor. Uh, merchants. What else we got? I'm thinking I'm probably going to make this guy just because they look really badass in game. Like just the, the dreads like they remind me of Predator, you know. But he's not going to be combat. I was tempted to make one of these guys a Nikto. Just to be different, you know. There are some pretty cool classes. And then I almost settled on this guy. The Senyasan, just because he looks kind of cool, like his face is nicely detailed. It's got like, you know, spikes and all sorts. His hairstyle isn't too bad. If it didn't have the beard, because the beard looks kind of weird, I'd have probably gone this guy. But after I made him, I was like, you know what? This guy's very, very much human. And if I'm playing Star Wars, I may as well spread out a little bit and go with something a bit more alien. Normally, Trandashan is one of my picks when I make a character, but... I'm thinking of changing it this time around. I mean, trying to I normally go Terrace Cassie on this dude because you know he's got claws, he's got the extra damage to uh, unarmed and the extra speed and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking this time I want to go Nautilus just because, just because it's different. It's alien, you know. So I just. And this guy's only going to be used for crafting anyway, so it's not like he's going to be going out there and battling stuff. I'm going to make him max height. Why not get the most for my money, so to speak? Make him a bit muscly, bulk his arms a little bit. Now, there are no facial options. There are no facial options for him, but... Uh, 
I can do the body, so I'm just trying to make sure I've got that right now. Okay. Now, there's a whole bunch of different skin colours. Personally, i not too much of a fan of the green. Which is, you know, considering that's all you can pick. So I'm thinking of going with this very pale one of these colours on the bottom row here. I can always hit up a image designer later, more than likely. But I'm thinking of going like that shade there, perhaps. Anyway, we can always have a look on here and see what it looks like. And you can see he looks pretty cool. Like when you see him like wearing clothes and stuff, it does look neat when you see their their tentacle dreads, whatever you want to call them dangling down the back of their head. Now their skills, you know, they're more suited to be a an entertainer, which I'm not going to do, but you know. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Merchant because it's going to give me the tools that I want. I'm fine with that skin colour and I can always change it as I said. So let's go ahead and name this fella. I'm going to go with now if you make a character, note that if you delete that character, the name won't be available until the next server restarts. So don't screw up like I did. I lost one of my character names that way. But I'm going to go with Grim Grimaldus, one of my favorite characters, and it's only for crafting, so... We're going to load in. And we are, we are here once again move all this over now one thing i want to show you guys before i wrap this video up is where to start if you're new to this game here's what i highly recommend i went tatooine as i say that's where all my characters tend to go but this time around i'm going to go to coronet city and when you get the coronet city if there's any professions that you need to learn if you need an extra bit in medic if you need uh to change whatever your base profession is look around here first because you can't do it where we're going so if you need you know any kind of training look around here first for the vendor but this is coronet city this is basically the capital of star wars galaxies although depending on what server you're on that could change a lot of the time for pvp at least it was feed on the server i used to play on which is on the boo but uh, anyway here we are you want to go back into the starport click on here broken bridge purchase a ticket it's only going to cost you 100 credits and you start off with a thousand yeah oh, i like this dude grimaldus looking pretty cool with his dreads looking all predator like got to sort out his threads though they don't look too good now we want to go across go ahead cross here to the ticket collector i can start clicking now there we go before it takes off now broken bridge is the new player city and it's got everything you need basically this is where you're going to see the most activity at the moment if we cross over here if we cross over here we will get to the city hall and as i said there are new buildings that are going to be made for player cities for instance this is the one of the new uh city halls that you can have Rather than the old one, if you've played Star Wars Galaxies, you know what the old city hall looks like in a player city. This was one of the new ones, and it looks pretty sweet. And if you come here, you've got mission terminals, you've got all the trainers you need, ranged trainers there, all the entertainment stuff, dancer, musician, entertainer, and over here we have the crafting. Now I actually want to talk to this surveyor. I'm going to need surveying for uh, crafting. And I'm thinking of leveling up architects so while I'm here. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this up. I haven't decided what I really want to do crafting wise. I mean, in this game, honestly, it is quite a big commitment. In fact, I've already shown you the city. I've already sh shown you the city. I don't know why I'm acting like I haven't yet. But uh, it, crafting is such a big commitment in this game depending on what you're wanting to do. If you want to be a top of the line armor smith or weapon smith, you will have to commit to it and put some effort into it. So I'm probably just going to settle on architect so I can, you know, fuel everything I need to do my own city. Houses for people, you know, 
things like that, furniture. But uh, yeah, this is going to be my merchant. I'm going to have to start leveling him up. There is a lot of people here. Place is growing. Good, 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 good. And yeah, I will uh, give you an update once I start leveling up my my uh, crafter here, and I'll tell you how he's getting on. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time.